Ladies and gentlemen, huge update, big update. Literally the last video I was saying that House needs to start campaigning. He needs to get this thing rolling because the time is coming down. You know, there's got to be some some sort of opposition for Henry to make sure she doesn't win. And lo and behold, they had his first outing where he declares that he is running for mayor. All the trustees are in support. There's a lot of people in the crowd that support him, spending money on him. And again, I always thought that he was the best choice. And it's really good to see the trustees come together and prop up one person. And it ran smoothly as if Henyard was the only problem to the meetings. You know what I mean? Because it was all professional. Everyone spoke like they weren't out of the gutter. You know what I mean? It was smooth, professional, perfect. But anyways, let's go ahead and check this out. We covered it, we covered it in stream today. And um, I want to show you guys the best moments. So let's go ahead and check this thing out. Hey guys, I see that you all are one step ahead of me. Happy Sunday! Okay, energy. Okay. So I first, um, I want to thank you all for coming out tonight. You all do not know um, how much this means to us, right? You know, I believe that a, a family that prays together stay together. You, you all know. See, this is this is why this is all our community, right? Team Dalton. So. I to my team, right? Um, I love you all to the Dalton residents who showed up. Um, you all know how important this is to us, and you know what they say. It takes a village. About 25 years ago, when my parents moved me to this town, I never would have dreamed of making a difference in the place I call home. <gasps> While attending Thornridge High School, I started my public service okay, did they, in a sorority. Did they all go to Thornridge High School? Hold on. So that must be like the major high school, right? Is that like the... Oh, here's Dalton right here. Boom. So Dalton, Burnham, Bali, blah, blah, blah. So this is like the high school for Dalton, I guess. Oh, you teach in the district. What's up, Nikki? So is that like the... Ma okay, that's like all the kids go there because Tiffany went there, Keith Freeman went there, Norwood went there. I bet you a bunch of other people went there. Okay, bet. Only 20,000 people. That's not that much. We have more people on this YouTube channel than the whole population of the city of Dalton, which is crazy. <laughs> which is actually crazy. I love you guys. You guys are fucking awesome. Well, let's continue. ...called Alpha Pi. A few years later, I was oh, yeah. in a traumatic incident. Let me back this up so we have some continuity here. ...a village. About 25 years ago, when my parents moved me to this town, I never would have dreamed of making a difference in the place I call home. While attending Thornridge High School, I started my public service in a sorority called Alpha Pi. <laughs> a few years later, I was in a traumatic incident in my condo complex. And from there, I met people that encouraged me to be more involved in my town while working on my degree. Sorry. As a trustee, I have found myself being heavily involved Sorry. with the seniors and the youth. The seniors, because they are the history of where our foundation lies, and the youth being the future of our community. My goal is to ensure that residents can continue to call Dalton home. Moving forward, I will continue to use my real estate expertise to get vacant houses filled, to help lower taxes, and to restore our neighborhood. There's an old adage that it states, if you want to go fast, go alone. But if you want to go far, you go with the team. Big Each person on this ticket has the expertise and the characteristics to get this job done. So to my team, thank you to my team, right? I love you all. I look forward to finishing what we started years ago. My sisters and brothers, right? I'm the... Um, the annoying little sister, but they love me. They love me. So, guys, to, to the residents, you all know that we are better together. Team Dome, let's do this, 2025. Thank you. Next, we have the, the I'm going to call her the researching trustee, <laughs> the queen of receipts. <laughs> Who will let you have it in Jesus' name? Trustee Belcher! Oh, we fuck with Belcher. Come on now. Come on now. Come on out here, Belcher. 
We love Belcher. That's that's my girl right there. I'm scared of her, but I fuck with her. <laughs> Good afternoon. Uh huh. Residents, family, and friends. Uh huh. Thank you all for coming out and showing your support. I would first like to thank my family that's here because during the last three years, it's been very challenging and they've been able to share me with the community and I'm happy for that. So please give my family a round of applause for coming out. <laughs> and this Belcher is a little baller too, you know. You know what I'm saying? You do a little research on Belcher, you quickly realize she got herself a little news job, a little anchor or whatever. You know, she on the board or whatever. She she doing her little thing. You know what I'm saying? So, you, it's it's a big difference between being comfortable and being super greedy. Like, I don't understand how you could be doing well because Henyard was doing well before she started. Like as she started, Henyard was doing well. I don't see how you could be that greedy to where you're gonna risk your position to to just steal a couple hundred thousand dollars. Like. If you think about it in the long run, that's stupid, bro. Just get another four years and make the money off of your salary and through smart endorsements and fucking like deals and shit. Like, but I think, she, I don't know. It just kind of baffles me that some people get into these positions and they fuck it up. It's the start of a step in a positive way for Dalton. Over the last three years, you've seen me fight for the residents and what's right in the eyes of the law. I'm asking for you to continue to show up and stand, stand together. Okay, also, another question. I'm pausing the fuck out of this video. Did Belcher and Henyard get, ever get along? Or did they never get along? That was the question. From the very start, my people, I, I don't think they got along. <laughs> Thank you, Melissa. No, I don't think Belcher and them got along ever. I think these two hated each other from the very fucking start. As far back as I go, and I haven't gone all the way, but as far back as I've gone, these two seem like they were biting each other with venom from the start. You know, they keep it cordial on TV, but I think even when they were both trustees, they probably had issues. But that's a good question, and I think I'm going to do a little deep dive between belcher and henyard and i'm gonna see if i could ever find a time where they were smiling and cordial with one another but i i haven't seen it yet and i've gone two years back maybe we should go three or four years maybe we'll find something there but fuck i didn't even want to address it but when we have people that come she said they were cool but tahoe tiff changed <clears throat> she said they were cool Harold Trim, you seem like a Dalton resident. You seem like a tr trustworthy fellow. Okay, I mean, from the words of Harold, they used to be cool. I don't know how true that is. And Heckle, you also know that they're coming to support. Because if you took your time out the day to come act a fool, you, come, you rocking with us, 2025. Thank you. So. She said that in an interview with Steve. Oh, yeah, Steve does do all these interviews. Shout out Steve, um, Edward Steve's YouTube and shit. He needs to keep that going, but it's probably hard doing politics and all that. But politics and money changes people. That's crazy. If they used to be cool, it, they don't seem like they ever were cool, which is crazy. So that shows how much Tiffany switched up on her. Let me say this. Maybe that's why. She, maybe that's why she's so aggressive towards her too, because she she feels betrayed. We've been locked out. We've been lied to. We've been stolen from, as a community, of, by the current mayor and administration. And this must stop. We know Dalton can be better. Look around. We're in downtown Dalton, and nearly seventy five percent of the businesses are closed. This is not what we want for our community. This is not the look that we want. We need growing businesses, we need public safety, and we need your help. This election is not gonna be an easy one because most of you know the challenges that we're up against. But as a team, we always learn that we, after working together, we can conquer a lot. Dalton, this is our test. This would be the testimony of showing strong, having unwaverly faith, 
and understanding the assignment that we are public servants and not self-servants. Today I ask you to continue this fight with us. I'm asking Dalton residents. Oh, you know, I wasn't even paying attention. Do you notice how fluently she's like speaking? And then go ahead and go watch a Tiffany Henyard speech. And this doesn't even come down to, honestly, this doesn't even come down to how smart you are or how well you can read on the spot. It just comes down to prep or fucking ration, bro. She doesn't prepare. You could tell Kiana Belcher read this speech, like, you know, probably three or four times. So she knows what's coming. She can smoothly look up and look back down. Tiffany, on the other hand, shit. She had a coffee and a blunt before reading that shit. Stumbling all over the place. Don't know where the fuck she at. So, you know, it's crazy the difference. And I mean, this is not the craziest speech. It's not like she, but you know, it's just a difference that you can see quite easily. Keep believing in me. Allow me another four years because it's time to clean house 2025. Thank you. And I want you guys to give a big round of applause to tr Trustee SD. <laughs> I really appreciate that love. Oh, uh, man. Let me get this stuff together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah, kind of yeah, full yeah. with the spirit, right? No weapon. Oh, God. Nah. nah, chill, bro. Chill. Bro, God, chill. Actually, I fuck with him. He's funny as fuck. You can tell he's in the church. He's the deacon. Deacon Steve, right here. Don't play with him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My name is Edward Steve. <laughs> And you know, uh, I want to thank the residents for coming. I want to thank Dr. Scott, who this building would have been farther along That's if this administration wouldn't have stopped oh, it. But we want to fight to get this back open farther than what it is right now. But we love the food pantry, the stuff that she does now, despite the struggles that they sent her through. She's I'd like, like to thank my colleagues for accepting me. I'd like to thank my brothers on the video and the production crew. These are all my brothers. Assalamu alaikum, my brothers. And then I, first and foremost, always, my wife and my two children the, and my oldest wife out here. They're right here. Where the wife at? Okay. That's my... my Damn, I was off. <laughs> Shit, I was like, oh, there's this woman right there. Okay, this is his wife. Shout him out, shout him out. Hell yeah. My daughter, Colleen, and my firstborn son, Colleen. Turn around, son. Turn around. How you feel, soldier? I want to talk about the word commitment. The word commitment means the state of quality being dedicated to a cause. Even though I didn't win my reelection, I stayed committed because it wasn't about no position. It wasn't about the money. I seen what's going on with our tax dollars. And I seen the truth has to be put out because oh, this administration shit. doesn't mind lying and misleading people, people evilly and, and this is real dangerous. So I stayed committed. I definitely stayed committed. I wasn't elected, but I'm running again. Yeah. I'm running again, and I need your support. Yeah. I have a special set of skills that I use. If y'all look at my video production and my videos on the Don't Trustee page, you see, the, you see the information I put out here. This team has proven good government. If you look at the board meetings that Jason House chairs when he's mayor pro tem, how smoothly do they run? How professional do they run? That's the type of government that we need. You can't. You can't be from Dalton. You're almost embarrassed to tell somebody you're from Dalton. If you say I'm from Dalton, we go to the IML and they will see your oh, Dalton on the name tag and they say, oh God, I'm gonna just pray, pray for y'all. I'm gonna keep praying for y'all. And we've been the poster child, cause this is a black town, 80, 90% black. We've been the poster child for black ignorance, black arrogance, black dysfunction. Now we wanna be the poster child for black love, black, Excellence, black unity, and most important, well, black self-accountability. Because we, if we can't hold ourselves accountable, then what can we do? We got ourselves in this situation, but now it's time on us to get ourselves out. Yeah, Gonzalez. No, I'm playing. <laughs> Shout out Gonzalez, man. That's a tough one to swallow. But hey, I guess he didn't know she was going to be a piece of fucking shit. So, I want to say this. Uh... This team has been formed. It's a real team that we work together. This is, this is not a team that was formed. We don't always agree. 
and we go back and forth. But Jason, as his leadership style, he gives everybody an opportunity to give the input, their ideas, and their opinion, and we come with the best idea. That's the type of government we need. So in closing, uh, you got to get out and vote. You got to talk to your neighbors. You got to talk to people at the stores. That's how we change this reality that we're in. We got ourselves in, but it's on us to get ourselves out. So I like that he acknowledges that they got themselves in because they really did. Like, what the fuck were y'all thinking? You guys didn't think twice that Tiffany has a shady, colorful past. Just a colorful ass past, you know. With all with all the colors of the rainbow, like, and then we still go ahead and nominate her. I don't know, you know, just you know, we live and we learn, as some say. The famous words of the greatest philosopher of this time. Jay-Z, allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is Edward Steve, Clean House 2025. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, yes, I do love shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Good afternoon, Dalton residents. It is so great to see you all here today. You don't know how we feel to see so many people here who believe in us. And I want to give a special shout out to my family who mostly lived out of the state, but they're watching us live. So, hey, family. Hey. <laughs> Dalton residents, this is not your typical local campaign or election. As we watch an historic movement currently taking place in Washington, D.C., this, too, is a historical movement right here in Dalton, Illinois. Yeah, yeah. We need each other yeah. to bring back a better Dalton. Yeah. How do we do this? We need Jason House as our mayor. Yeah. And we need this team, this amazing team who have fought tirelessly for this community for the past three and a half years. This has been a movement that has never been seen or experienced in Dalton. But you Dalton residents, you stood up, you band together, and you said enough is enough. And without you, we could not be here to do what we're doing today because we needed you to stand with us to get, get our town back. <laughs> I believe that we have grown some pretty tough skin in this past three and a half years. So we need you to continue to volunteer to help us take this movement forward. We need a clean house, not a hen yard. Mm. Okay. <laughs> we need a clean house in 2025, not a hen yard. <laughs> <laughs> this movement would not have gotten to this point if it were not for you, Dalton residents, working together with us, fighting to restore Dalton. So let's press forward. I mean, I'm sorry, let's pause on the naysayers and focus on taking our community back. Let's build a clean house in 2025. Thank you so much. She had to um she had to throw something out there about Henyard and I fuck with it. Everybody was trying to steer clear, but she was like, listen, honey, I'm gonna talk about it. We do not need a henyard. <laughs> I like how they call her. Everybody who doesn't like her calls her henyard. I should start calling her that. Your next mayor of the village of Dalton received this king, Jason House! Oh god. Did anybody not tell her to chill the fuck out? <laughs> so I want to thank everybody, uh, especially Dr. Nikita Nietzsche, for just that riveting introduction. And you come up behind all these great speakers, which makes it even more uh, intimidating. But we're not intimidated today. We got the spirit, the spirit of, of champions. So when we first came to do this the, uh, about a week ago, we talked about it, and they said, well, you're going to be mayor. you got to have a great speech. I wrote a great speech. I really got to write. 
But I'm going to ask if uh, a little bit of permission here, because I want to go a little bit off. So I want to use this as an outline. You may see me kind of jumping back and forth, but um, the spirit hit me saying that this is also an opportunity for me just to give um, an introduction to those of, of me to those that don't know me, reintroduction to those that have it, ha that do. I'm not a natural public speaker, so this is a new platform and new for me. Starting off a little shaky there, House. A little shaky. No, I'm playing. <laughs> I'm also, I've had the opportunity for the last seven years to serve as a village trustee. I'm also not a politician. I got into this as a public servant. I'm here to serve the people of the great village of Dalton. <laughs> Having said that, um, I'm J I am Jason House, the senior trustee, mayor pro term here for the village of Dalton. Together, to, with my colleagues on the board, we have been steadfast in our efforts to stop the gross mismanagement and abuse of power that people have seen in the village today. Yeah. So having said that, we've got many things that have been credibly reported in the news that it's just time to stop. As my brother Kevin Bowen says, we have to change the narrative around Dalton, and that begins today. I have to take a moment to pause and thank my colleagues on the board. We've become family, we are family, and without them, this does not happen. So I wanna take a moment to give a great thanks to trusty Tammy Brown, staying over there. <laughs> trusty Brittany Norwood. <laughs> trusty Kiana Belcher. <laughs> my brother, former trustee, Edward Steve. And this amazing woman, the clerk, the village clerk, Allison Key. So we also have to stop and think, and I know many people have done that, the owner of this establishment, free indeed, Dr. Nicole Scott. We want to make sure that we support this. We will turn this place around and get this moving forward. Also, DQ's Barbecue. I know that everybody, I'm, I'm actually going to speed up in a moment because I know everybody's uh, hungry for that food. We got some ribs. We got chicken. <laughs> so we're going to make oh, sure. they feeding the people too. Okay. Shit. So they, money's, money's being used, man. They're, they're really going for this. And I literally said last video that House needs to start campaigning. And boom, here it is. It popped up the very night. So let's go. That's what's up. Make sure everybody's stomach is, is well fed today. So ladies and gentlemen, I know we've all seen the troubling events that have come through the village of Dalton recently. We got grand jury subpoena, we got grand juries convened, subpoenas coming out with investigations into the activities of the mayor, gross mismanagement of money, FBI's, the FBI out here interviewing employees, business owners and vendors. We've seen all kinds of spending, countless spending on Vegas trips, first class flights, luxury hotels and fine dining all on the taxpayers. We've also seen a million dollars a year of security following around one individual instead of being on the streets where they belong. Meanwhile- Imagine having a million dollar security detail. Like, oh, you have security? Yeah. You know, I have a million dollar security detail. Oh, you must be super rich. Are you like a multimillionaire? Oh, no. I mean, I have money, but I just use the city's money to pay for the million dollars a year. That's crazy, bro. Like, what? We could really cut that budget down to like 20000 Like, what are you actually doing? A million dollars a year? That doesn't even sound right. That honestly doesn't even sound right. A million dollars? Were you using? You, what? What is it? A, a, like, what are you using? What's a million dollars? Oh, we have pensions going unfunded, bills going unpaid, the lawsuits come in one after another, legal fields are skyrocketing, and year after year we got multi-million-dollar deficits that we have to face and cure. I'm sure we know it doesn't have to be this way. But with every challenging time in our, in our village's history, we also see great hope and opportunity for what's next. And what's next is going to come with a powerful and decisive vision for what Dalton's future.
Throw some hearts out there for what's her face, man. Shout her out. We're not going to have a vision that's em em embroiled with subtraction or division. It's going to be one that, has, that, that does inclusion, addition and, uh, addition and multiplication. We're going to bring everybody together, compromise, and work with one another. We're going to have a vision that operates with transparency, openness. Open the doors to the Village Hall of Dalton. Yes. Taxpayers right now can't even walk in their own building. We're going to respect the viewpoints of differing of people, and we're going to sit down in a manner that they don't feel threatened. We're going to have a vision that's not based on self-promotion or political ambiguity. It's going to be a vision that's around unity for everybody in our town. It's going to be the unity with our park district, unity with the school board, unity with the library boards. We cannot forget our business community. What about our churches? We got to make sure all are included in this vision and it can happen. It will happen. So today, I'm here to proudly announce my candidacy for mayor of Dalton in February of 2025. Our team together, I'm, I'm pleased that I'm, I have the opportunity to run with incumbent trustee Brittany Norwood, incumbent trustee Kiana Belcher, Spinning the block is what I heard yeah. with, for, with uh, former trustee Edward Steve and clerk Allison Key. Yeah. Together we make a team and we make that mighty fist that's going to strike the blow that bring us back. We have a couple of points that we're going to emphasize throughout our campaign. Uh, we want to talk about ethics reform. We want to restore the balances of checks and power, uh, che the checks and balances that this government was built on. We want to make sure that the people in our community no longer fear the mayor's office and operate in that light. Yes. It's an open door policy. Yes. We're going to have reforms around public safety, working with our officers to make sure that we can once again come hand in hand, become connected to our community stakeholders, yes. and, and get the police back on the streets where they belong and not following around the mayor with a security detail. Yes. We are going to have balanced budgets. And those balanced budgets are going to account for all of the mismanagement we've seen over the last years. We're going to bring our audits current, and all, we're, we're no more fancy flights, no more first-class trips, no more security detail. We're going to save this town a million dollars a year with one fatal swoop. All of our financials will be posted transparently on the Village's website and made accessible for anybody that wants to see them. Like, that's the... That should Fourth, be like a no shit question. Like he's going to win off of doing things that are just regular. Like he's just going to revert things back to regular business of the mayor. And he's going to win off of just doing things normally. That's how fucked up. Um, that's how fucked up Henry has things right now, which is actually wild to think about. We have to come to our economic development. And we will make sure that we're able to bring, to develop the retail and industrial base in Dalton. We will be promoting those who, get, who, get, who do sales tax initiatives and that sales tax can come to the village of Dalton. So that way we don't have to press and keep on trying to raise taxes when we have a thriving business community. We're tired of seeing businesses shut down. We got, we have, we've got way more businesses shut down. I don't know if we've even opened a business yet in this, in this, in this, in this administration. At least 10 businesses close, can't get their business license. They got to fight for that. No more. It's time out for that. Uh, so in conclusion, I think the most important thing that I want to stress and reemphasize is we have the right team. We have a winning team. Our team will be changing the narrative around the village of Dalton, and we will be restoring order, decency, and dignity to this community. So with that, I want to close and say thanks, everybody, for coming out. I have to say God bless them, God, to the firefighters who came, so we want to thank you for your engagement. So the firefighters are I did miss a couple of acknowledgments. So I, I, I want to also, I saw a couple of former trustees. I want to give them their praise because they've been supportive, and they are some of the pillars that have helped us. I saw former trustee Robert Pearson. Where is former trustee Pearson? Yeah. Saw former trustee Dwayne Muhammad. Is he still with us? Thank you. I saw Thornton Township. He needs to be telling the town how he's going to get their money. 
let's be real they're in the hole it's gonna take years to get out of okay that's fair but like i don't even i think this is just him saying hey guys i'm running for mayor and i think that's it i think there's gonna be more i don't really know how this works in <clears throat> in dalton but i'm assuming there's gonna be more um election material and his plan for the city if you elect me so i'm hoping this is just the the start and you know he comes through and he gives us more information about how he's going to fix the city because it's in a it's in a doozy right now the trustee leading the charge on that side chris gonzalez <laughs> see if i missed any other elected officials ah uh, yes and we have we talked about our partnerships uh we, we talked about some of our partnerships we have the president of our library board, Louise Copeland, here with us. Now, over the many years that, uh, over the many years, well, over the three years that we've been fighting, it's been taken. And I hate that we've been fighting, but it, it, it wouldn't, we wouldn't be able to do. The only thing that's been consistent in terms of messaging and a way for people to express themselves have been tea with the trustees, and that would not be possible without some of my partners at the Park District. I see Commissioner Sandra Wells is present. Where's Commissioner Wells? I got uh, Commissioner Willis Harris present here with us. I'm going to put him on the spot because this is my brother. I see we, we look alike. And whenever something goes wrong, I say my name is Willis Harris. <laughs> <laughs> he does it to me, so we just try to see who can get each other the most. Um, have to give a, a complete, this podium came last minute because, because of kind of miscommunication and things. And I picked up the phone and called the president of the Park District Board. And in no time, with a snap of his fingers, we got to hear President Cleo Jones. Oh, we'll put that hand up. He's like, yep, that was me, that was me. So having said that, we're going to have these partnerships. We will continue, we will grow, we will be bigger and better, and I'm just asking everybody to support us with a clean house, Dalton, 2025. Yeah.